Hey guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening, and today is everything but gardening, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to make a recipe from our cabbages outside, and I thought I would share it with you. It's going to be one of my ab lib, kind of um, just wing it and put it together type of recipes. Um, my cabbages are heading up. They're pretty big, but they're not big enough for me to harvest the head of cabbage. But there are plenty of big leaves, so tonight for dinner, I'm going to make uh, cabbage rolls. And we're just going to use what I have in the fridge and pantry, and we're going to put this together and make a nice meal. So let's get busy. Stop number one will be this big cabbage. So I've got my big bowl, some little scissors, and we are probably just going to take some of the nice looking back leaves. And we're going to soak these in a little salt water to help kill off any bugs. Some pretty good leaves in there. I may just need to cut from this plant is what I think I'll do today. So this is it. We're going to take probably, I don't know, eight big leaves from the back. So far, knock on wood, I do not see any cabbage loopers or any evidence of them. I did not see any cabbage loopers or their eggs and I'm gonna let these soak here in about uh, for about 20 minutes while I gather up all of my other supplies and there is salt in this water too just a little salt okay let's get the what else do we need so I've got my leaves on a low boil then I'm gonna uh, brown about a pound and a half ground beef when it's done, save two tablespoons of the oil and cook your onion in the oil, followed by some minced garlic. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and then you can put whatever seasoning you want. This is garlic salt. I use celery salt and pepper and thyme and all-purpose salt-free seasoning in this particular recipe, but you can mix it up. You can do whatever you like. Um, here I am checking on the leaves. It takes quite a while. Um, and then to that mixture of beef, I added a cup of rice to, uh, well, half a cup of the cabbage water. Separate bowl, I'm mixing a whole cup of the cabbage water and some marinara sauce to make like a soup-like texture. Make sure your oven's set to 375 and preheated. When the leaves are done and cooled, you can start uh, gathering up that mixture, rolling it, putting it in your casserole dish, um, put all the sauce on top cover and then you're going to bake it 375 for at least 40 plus minutes and there we go it's done and it looks good enjoy <music> 